Hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9. So in this uh, video, we are going to discuss this bar graph that was part of 27 January 2024. IELTS exam in India. This is writing task 1 that was bar graph. Okay, so this was the thing. Here, we are going to understand each and everything about bar graph and planning also and how to write introduction also and everything's full essay. I'm going to show you how to just uh, do all the things. Okay, now we have been given. Yes, before starting it, please, I would like to request you, please subscribe. Okay, so that's a motivation level for me if you just subscribe and liking it and of course doing uh, just uh, texting me something on my comment but i would expect that you just pick positive things from my video okay so now this is the bar chart here i can see so after getting the bar chart or bar graph or line graph any writing task one what you need to do you need to understand the uh, the photo the picture the graph they have given here i can see um, there are four years one two three four like from this to this you can say from 2004 to 2008 they have given and there are four groups uh, european nation middle east far east and africa and you can see this from zero to thirty five thousand and of course in a main exam you will not get any colorful thing okay only black and white and some distinguished signs may be there like here it was some lines were there some cutting was there so i have just made it colorful so first category i can see here european country and then uh, blue one is middle east and the far east is purple and this is gray african students okay so here i can see this the green one is at highest when it uh, when the graph the first year is uh, in the first year uh, it means european nation students are they had taken more interest it means this is at the highest and uh, in the initial year this is the least okay so throughout the years you can see this downward trend okay and throughout the year i can see this purple, uh, pink magenta one upward trend means it is progressing and this blue one middle uh, middle east this is uh, with little fluctuations it is growing and like these are middle fluctuations oh yes and at the end it it had developed okay it means with little fluctuations this graph this middle east graph had developed means this is also upward trend after getting some fluctuations then it is uh, it, it has developed okay now africa with some stability and then it is also on the upward trend but with less growth it is uh, we can't compare with these uh, the the middle east and far east ones here it is clear in britishers uh, uh, sorry european nations downward trend and it is clear uh, in purple this far east upward trend and the blue one with little fluctuations okay up and down so it had also uh, following the upward trend means it had also developed and uh, african students with uh, with some stability it had grown but um, uh, not like these others okay now these things we had uh, analyzed so these you have to analyze like this like the things how i have told it now now the homework what you have to do of course maximum initial years here is european nation so these are all planning part okay european nations minimum uh, like minimum participation was african by african students by africa i am just writing it in short and some stable kind of thing is um, a first three years first three years the number of students were stable and any striking point uh, striking point yeah i can say um, here it is like opposite like in first year and the last year if you compare this is uh, highest and it is the uh, no it no it is not striking but opposite trend is a uh, trend can be seen here it is this and here what whosoever were uh, the middle they had just grown no we can't write like that okay so you can just say um, 
no nothing is any striking point but yes you can just make it opposite trend can be seen in, in the last year as compared to first those who were at the first and they were at the uh, downward trend they were at the mm, uh, less growth they were at the less number of students okay now this is the thing now introduction now yes one more thing i want to show you some vocabulary also see this vocabulary uh, whenever you are doing pie chart whenever you are doing your table line graph and bar graph please use these words figures the figures the percentage the proportion the percentile if the figures are in percentage then you can use these words the figures the number accounts or amounted to so if the uh, if the graph is in past tense then you will be using uh, uh, figured at accounted to amounted to okay so you can use these words also sharply suddenly rapidly dramatically significantly steadily considerably sharp sharp increase dramatic increase sudden increase gradual and steep so so uh, just take screenshot make notes of your vocabulary and uh, next one is fluctuations in graph so this is kind line graph but don't worry about it because in graph also in bar graph also the figures are like that it's going up it's going down so when it is uh, the uh, the figures are going up then you can use the upward then it is going down you can use downward when it is stable kind of thing like in our graph the african uh, students were having you can say the plateaued the stabilized number stable number of slightly declined so this is slightly declined and these kinds of uh, graph is there it means fluctuations i will show you in this so here this is stable african student the gray one is stable stable figure and here uh, this the blue one this and this 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 is little fluctuations okay and this you can see this downward and this per, uh, the magenta one is you can see this upward trend okay so these words you should use it and if there is some sudden increase in any data then you can just uh, just say it with sudden increase but here we can't see the sudden or dramatic increase in the data so we can't use this word okay so if if you write uh, in your uh, in your writing uh, arise arise or increase increase or climb climbs you have to change the vocabulary words you have to use synonyms that i have explained it here and they and for remain study and remain unchanged remain study and remain unchanged see this these these are stable data so for this you can use the vocabulary the uh, the figures for african students remained steady or remained unchanged also you, throughout the three first three years you can use these sentence now coming to introduction so this is the question statement and how i have done just look at this so whatever the statement is there you have to just paraphrase the question statement nothing else you don't need to do anything so how the graph so the gra this graph is vertical see this this is vertical and the, if the graph is like that suppose graph is like this if you get this kind of graph in question paper then definitely this is horizontal now it is vertical the vertical bar graph depicts instead of shows i have written depicts or you can say the illustrates also delineates also depicts the number of um learners instead of applicants i have written learners who apply to a uk university uk terential institute i have written spelling is t e double r e t double r e n s t i a l so you can just google it if something is wrong please sorry uh, i'm sorry for that so you can if you are confused then you can use university only to a uk terential institute from the uh, from the european nations so of here they have given four different nation and we will just put these names here uh, from the european nations the middle east the far east and africa from 2004 to 2008 okay and the last line is the statistical data is presented in thousands because the the figures have given not in percentage only in thousands okay now we have done our homework now one more thing is left in the planning before going before writing the detailed paragraphs and all when you are doing your planning it's important 
to just find out the figure so this is between 5000 and so it means this is 2500 just write all the figures so that it will be easy for you to write the body detail paragraph same 2500 this is 10000 i can see 10 this is 15 and this is 30 and this is 25 this is same but this is between 15000 and 10000 uh, yeah it can be 12500 or around 13000 you can write mm, this is 20 okay this is also 20 this is 15 and this is 20 and uh, no no it is no, no not 20 it is 25 to uh, between 25 to 20000 it means this must be around 23000 so this homework you should do it before writing your detailed paragraph now this is overall paragraph what we have to write in overall paragraph maximum minimum and upward and downward trend and any striking point overall it can be seen that the um, maximum applicants were experienced and applied for uh, applied from European nations so this is some mistake the maximum applicants were from European nations who uh, uh, the maximum applicants were from uh, European nations who followed downward trend at the end okay however the least participation could be witnessed from Africa to uh, from African students you can just write here from African students or applicants to UK University while the Middle East and Far East students had shown more interest in UK education in UK higher education see there's so many mistakes I have done you can just correct your answers when you are rereading your answer and constantly progress progressed see this each year so one more thing here this is all this writing will be in past tense but wherever i am using here it can be seen these all are passive voice okay otherwise i have used second verb second verb second verb okay past tense will be used in this now how to write detail paragraph for this bar graph so there are four years okay and there are four categories okay in fact five years are there okay so four categories are also there either you write uh, just uh, you just write four paragraphs for each category okay or you combine any two categories or you write cont uh, sorry year wise or you combine two years and but this first year and last year you need to write it separately and clearly give how it started it initiated the uh, data and finished uh, what is the status at the finished year okay so that's more important fi first and final and you can combine any year now i will be writing according to year wise but you can write this uh, so this is more easy in fact i had written year wise then i realized category wise is more easy to write let's look at the data this first 2004 okay analyzing the data in 2004 okay the highest one is here uh, the british the, sorry the european students the number of european nations applicants accounted to 30000 see this 30000 followed by the far uh, far east uh, followed by far, this was the number 2 this was 3 and 4 followed by the far east and middle east with 15000 uh, no it is not it is 18000 and uh, 15 and no 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 this is exact 15,000 sorry this is 15,000 only and 10,000 okay respectively I have done respectively also while African students data stood at 2500 only okay uh, only also you can write now first year we have done and here you can just announce uh, uh, the maximum number of students uh, uh, applicants accounted with maximum number of students out of all cat categories now second second and 2005 and 6 i have combined see this the european candidates figures displayed um, some uh, some downward some some downward figures which were 
20 uh, which were 25,000 and 20,000 respectively and surprisingly the Middle East and the Far East had shown more motivation among, stu uh, among students to study in the UK University with total 27,000. Now I have just totaled both the years figures. 27,042 approximately and respectively okay so i have combined the both the figures for these two countries this middle east and far east and i have not described anything uh, but but in fact you can just write um, uh, however the figures for africa uh, africa uh, african F applicants to uk university were stable okay these are stable remain unchanged also you can just write now the final year in the last year now it is important to explain the last year clearly see this what the last year we can see here see this last year in the last year it is worth uh, it is worth noted that the figures for european nation middle east and far east followed opposite from the initial year so i am just telling it was opposite so it was see this I initial year it was first it was uh, at the end now this also improved this also improved okay so here i have just written this uh, uh, followed opposite opposite from the initial year uh, now far east students were at number one rank with 30,000 which was 15,000 only in 2004 see this 15,000 now this is 30,000 okay so next one is so next one on the contrary the European applicants data reduced from 30 to 12,000 only in the year 2008 see this I have compared uh, so in uh, initial year 32 14,000 only 32 uh, 12,000 sorry 12,000 only in the year 2008 from 30,000 to 12,000 it reduced in case of applicants from Africa slightly went up during this year and reached at its peak at um, almost 6,000 and the same like experience see this this African had improved it's more than 5 it means this must be 6,000 and the same like experience can be witnessed from Middle East graph which had developed at highest figures at 20,000 compared to less than 10,000 students in 2004. So in the last year I have compared with first year old. So this is also a good strategy. So you can see full lesson. See this introduction, overall first paragraph, second paragraph and third paragraph. 